we want to be thinking about the 12th Imam and his return and what are we supposed to be doing and how does what we do right now apply what do we need to do in order to hasten the reappearance of our Imam keeping in mind our global duties what do I mean global duties well this is our challenge before the Imam is to return there's things that you and I have to do one of them is to understand Islam from Imam Ridha alayhi salam. Rahimallahu abdan ahya amrana. May Allah forgive that person who revives our affair. When they say ahya amrana, they're talking about preparing for the coming of the Imam. The narrator of the hadith says, how do we do that? Listen to the words of the Imam. Yata'allam ulumana. He learns. You have to learn what the Ahlul Bayt have said. Wa yu'allimu nas. They also have to teach. It's not just, well, alhamdulillah, I'm Shia, done my duty. No. Another responsibility that we have is the responsibility of sharing what we've learned of Islam. Why do you have to teach? It says, فَإِنَّ النَّاسِ لَوْ عَلِمُوا مَحَاسِنَا كَلَامِنَا لَتَّبِعُونَا If the people knew the beauty of our words, they would follow us. We believe that the divine government is God's greatest gift to mankind. But we also believe in the right of human beings to determine their own destiny. And they'll be questioned about it. Allah will never change the condition of a people until they change themselves. In order for us to prepare the world for the return of the Imam, the world needs to know what they're getting into. I'll give you an example for us in America. For us in America, we're used to the idea that when somebody is running for election, there's campaign lies. The inner cities are unbelievably dangerous. The education is no good. The safety is horrible and there are no jobs. And I tell everybody, what the hell do you have to lose? I'm going to fix it. We will fix it. They give us promises, a lot of empty words. They tell us, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And we know it's campaign lies, but it's part of what you do. I want you to compare that with what you see from the words of the Ahlul Bayt Islamic leadership, divine leadership is transparent with the people. We're not trying to fool them. I'm going to give you the example of Amirul Mu'mineen. As you know, the people came and they surrounded, came to his house, they were insisting, only you, no one else, we want you. When Amirul Mu'mineen saw the insistence of the people, the demand of the people, then Amirul Mu'mineen said, let's go to the masjid. I'm going to make this statement public. Amirul Mu'mineen wants them to know what they're getting into. Know this, everybody, if you elect me as your leader, that means I'm going to practice, I'm going to guide you the way that I know. I'm not hiding anything. Islam that I know, I'm going to implement that. He even let them know some of the things will be big changes even in your personal lives. He said, even if you've taken from Baytul Mal, you take it from the public treasury. I'm gonna take that back. Before you elect me, before you support me, do you want that? Amir al-Mu'mineen is transparent with the masses. How does that relate to you and I? Our Imam is waiting for us. Our job as Shia is to make sure the people know what they're getting. What is Islam? What's true Islam? What isn't Islam? As Islam in Nabu Muhammad Harisan, به نام اسلام انسان ها رو زنده زنده در مقابل دوربین در مقابل چند میلیارد انسان می سوزانند اینها اون وقت مورد حمایت و پشتیبانی قدرت های مرموز غربی قرار می گیرند ISIS is honoring President Obama He is the founder of ISIS He's the founder of ISIS okay? He's the founder he founded ISIS and I would say the co-founder would be Crooked Hillary Clinton. Co-founder, Crooked Hillary Clinton. وقتی میخوان در تبلیغات علیه این گروه های مفسد و فاسد حرف بزنن از اونها تعبیر میکنن به دولت اسلامی. We've always known that if Islamic State fighters of the so-called Islamic State the so-called Islamic State committed by the so-called Islamic State 
یعنی اون کسانی که با مردم اون جور رفتار میکنن بچه ها رو اون جور نابود میکنن اینها دولت اسلامی هن. اسلام ستیزی یعنی این امروز وظیفه ما مسلمان ها آگاه شدن و آگاه کردن دنیا از حقیقت بعصت است بعصت یعنی برانگیختگی برای نجات انسان برای نجات بشر if the people knew the masses knew the beauty of our words they would follow us does that mean the tyrants the zalimin they're going to be happy when you say good day that's the wrong expectation iran supreme leader ayatollah khamenei He tweets in English that Israel must be destroyed. Listen to Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah. He said, if all the Jews gather in Israel, it will save us the trouble of chasing them down around the world. When they hear that our Prophet said the best type of jihad, that telling the truth to a tyrant, in the face of the tyrant, not being afraid, explaining what Islam is, Gahi Saddam Darane رژیم صهیونیستی ما رو تهدید هم میکنن تهدید به حمله نظامی میکنن اما به نظرم خودشون هم میدانن و اگر نمیدانن بدانن که اگر غلطی از اونها سر بزند جمهوری اسلامی تل آویو و حیفا رو با خاک یکسان خواهد کرد My stance on oppression, whether oppression is overseas, whether it's in Palestine, whether it's here in England, whether it's there in America, oppression, we say that we're supposed to be chasm for the zalim. Am I expecting the zalim to also applaud? No, I know the zalim is not going to applaud. I'm trying to explain to the people what they're getting into. Yes, Islam is opposed to oppression. We're supposed to spread a message, share a message, let the people know. And as I mentioned that hadith about the end of time, it says that Islam will go from Qum to the corners of the world until there's no one who is mustadhaf or uninformed when it comes to Islam. So we have a lot of work to do.